Now we go to the nation's capital. White House officials working to quiet, renewed discussion about President Joe Biden's age tonight. This comes after a Justice Department report called his memory into question. Willie James Inman brings us the latest from the White House. After meeting with Germany's Chancellor, President Biden declined to take questions about the special counsel's report. Administration officials, meanwhile, spent the day defending the president's memory. The way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. Special counsel Robert Hur questioned President Biden's mental fitness in a report focusing on his handling of classified documents after he served as vice president. Hur declined to seek charges, referring in his report to the president's memory at least nine times, saying it was significantly limited and appeared hazy, that he had diminished faculties in advancing age and was a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. In a news conference Thursday night, the president grew emotional over hers mention that he could not remember when his son Bo died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Biden said his memory was fine, but at one point confused the leaders of Egypt and Mexico. The president of Mexico, Sisi. Biden's chief political rival, former President Donald Trump, faces federal criminal charges stemming from his handling of sensitive documents. And he recently mixed up Nancy Pelosi and Nikki Haley when discussing January 6th. Trump was on the campaign trail in Pennsylvania Friday night where he took jabs at President Biden's mental capacity. We have a guy that can't put two sentences together and he's in charge of negotiations with Russia. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court is weighing whether his efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election results make him ineligible to run again. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. And the White House announced that President Biden will appoint a task force to review how presidential transitions examine classified material.